Hallelujah. In the book of Psalm chapter 77 verse 12 in the message translation, the scripture said, I will ponder on all the things you've accomplished and give a long loving look at your acts. Amen. And on your testimonies, real people life, we give a long loving look at the acts of God on this mountain. Amen. And today we have such an act of God which deserves pondering through the day. We'd like to give attention to this wonderful miracle working power of God at work on this mountain. We have the story of this young man who had his life retrogressing, degrading back to childhood where he could barely handle the very minute and easy issues of his own life. The doctors diagnosed that he had suffered acute psychosis, bringing so much frustration, tears, and pain to the entire family until he ascended this mountain and met the servant of God. He's here today fully conscious, fully healed, totally transformed with his testimony in his hands. I'd like you to join me in a clap as we welcome our brother Eric Minta as he comes over with his gracious testimony in his hands. Give him praise to God for what he has done. Can you celebrate Jesus? I'm excited for what God has done in your life and how he intervened in what the devil sought to destroy your life. Yes, Pastor. And I know your story is here to stir up people's faith for them to believe God for the impossible. Amen. Amen. Now, somewhere in December, you started having these symptoms of fever and other general malaise. Um, which was first suspected to be malaria and other symptoms. You were taken yes, to the hospital. Can you talk to us? What happened at the hospital? Okay. When I was taken to the hospital, um, because I wasn't taking the medication that they gave me, they had to pass the drugs through my veins. And at a point in time, I became very vexed at the hospital. Um, I'll, I'll try to move out of the hospital and cause certain damages to the things that was around. Do you remember these things? Yes. What my mom told me, that is when after I fully recovered, I cast my mind back and I remembered such incidents happened. So some of these things were related to you when your mother told you yes. after you came to full consciousness? Yes, Pastor. And so what my mother realized was that the medication that was giving me and everything and yes, so it was to no avail. He realized that there might be something beyond what they were thinking. So what the doctors finally diagnosed? So you went in with a febrile um, issue, yes, and then later on, what did they diagnose was wrong with you? They said, yes, so it's fever and malaria. That's what they were saying. My mom was thinking that it was high fever because at the hospital, I was speaking things, I was, say, I was saying things that... <laughs> It's not good for humans here to hear. It's, it's too, it's too well, terrible. When they told you, did yes. you believe that you could say such things? I couldn't believe it. But that's what my mom said. Now, how did your usual way of life become? How were you ordering yourself at home? Did okay. you remember some of them? What are some of the things you remember and what you don't remember? Okay. What I could recall and remember was that when I wake up from morning, I wouldn't be able to do anything. I'll be on my bed. It will be around 8, and I'll still be on my bed. It will be my mom who will come and wake me up, that I should go and brush my teeth. And I would go, but I won't take brush. She will pick my brush for me. I didn't know what was going on, but I know that my mom said I should pace, but I didn't know what is happening. I didn't know where to find my brush, and I don't know. So he would take the brush for me. So you, you lost touch of your environment. Yes. I didn't know what was going on at all in my environment. What are some of the things you couldn't also do, which you usually could do? Um, I couldn't also bath for myself. They would have to do it for me, because I wouldn't feel to bath. Neither will I even um, know how to do it or the things that I will need to bath. All of them had to be done by my sisters. Including when you even have to poo poo. Yes, Pastor. And <laughs> no, this, this, this is not a laughing issue. This is a very pathetic issue you're having here. One sad thing that they told me was that when I visit the washroom, I won't be able to dress and 
they would have to do it for me. They yep. told you afterwards. Yes. Can you watch the video of one of the instances that were captured on video? Please, that's my mom. That's your mom. Yes, Pastor. Look at his foot, his feet, and look at what is happening to his feet. Look at how he has put on his slippers, just the way children do. Now, what was happening here? Um, Pastor, that was when I was awakening from bed and my mom was asking me to go and piss. So, I saw, as you can see, I was there, I didn't know what to do. And my mom would have to give me the cup, fetch the water for me, and she would lead me to where we pissed. this video please it's my sister my little sister who captured the video I didn't even know where my tab was it was somewhere I think that's okay. That's okay. Now, you would, if you follow on the video, you would notice that he actually absconded, went to the room. The mother went back for, her, for him and had to actually help him rinse his mouth and all that. And this is just one of the things that was captured on video. Yes, Pastor. And there were other things you couldn't do for yourself. Yes. Let me talk to you, Elder. You happen to be aware of this um, incident. What, what do you have to say concerning this condition? What did you know about it? For about two weeks, Eric was not coming to church. So I've been, anytime I come, I ask of him. So I sent messages around to um, the people I, I know who stays in their area. So I got the sister. The sister told me Eric is no war. So I called and uh, the things that I, I heard him say, I just knew that there was something wrong with him. So I called Minister Vivian to let her know that this is what is happening to one of my workforce members. So he, she asked me to call Pastor Rignard. I called Pastor Rignard, he prayed for him on phone. Then we asked them to come for ticketing. Now what are some of the emotional or bad experiences you had one of the days when you called home? That was on Monday morning. I had gotten to work, so I decided to check on him. I called and everyone in the house was crying, even including him. And he asked me, Elder Ben, what have I done to God? Have I sinned? What, what is it that I've done to God that I'm going through this thing? And, it, and, it and was... you mentioned one other interesting phenomenon. When you call home, yes. how he responds to you. Yes. When they told me about the issue, anytime I called him, Eric is able to speak with me well. He's, he relates with me, we laugh. But immediately I, hand, I, I hang up. The sisters will call and they are like, the things that I spoke with him, he can't tell them. But when I call back, he's able to tell me the things we spoke about. It continued for a period of time till one day, the mother put the phone on the loudspeaker and we were talking. And I was like, Eric, what is wrong? He said, my mom says I can't eat. And I was like, why can't you eat? He said, my, my mom said my mouth is small. So that was where I knew that the that was issue, wrong. that was the first time I realized that there was truly, because the sister was hyping the thing, and I was like, that is what you are saying, that is not how the whole thing is. So yes. that day, I you began to appreciate the situation. Let me talk to you. Now at that time when this situation um, started, you were teaching. Yes, How did this affect that work? Um, it was getting to the end of their exams. So after they have finished doing the exams, they have to submit it to me for marking. I couldn't mark a single paper. 
I was trying to mark, but I couldn't mark. So all the papers that they gave me to mark and the records that I have to do, I couldn't do it. So the teachers came for the books and everything. And my parents couldn't go to the school to inform them of the condition. So right after um, I was... Um, I was you were well. Well, I went back and they were telling me that they have already replaced me because none of my relatives came to inform them about the, situation. the condition. Yes. So eventually you came for ticketing and had pastor minister to you. Yes, pastor. Can we watch the video when the man of God made that way? Mental illness, unlike other illnesses of the body, has relatives of the affected person worried and hopeless because of the stigma that comes with it. Having lived with mental illness for about a month, that rendered him incapable of doing basic things and unable to relate with people and his environment, Eric Minter came to seek deliverance on this mountain of fire. Look closely as the man of God ministers to him. to tell of the wondrous happenings in his life. Praise God. Do you remember this incident? Now, now you, you, you recall, you recounted of a certain phenomenon that used to happen to you when you come to church. Yes. Anytime I walked to the auditorium and I see the people around, I would behave normal. I would see everybody perfectly well. I can relate with them well, but most of the times, they can't come to me because maybe my parents were around me. And sometimes, too, when I come around and I see the pastors, I come to them. You behave normally. <laughs> when you come to church, you are normal. Yes. And when you go back home, what happens? When I get back to home, the situation becomes very worse. And when it's getting to the ninth time, um, the ninth, I would gain little consciousness about what is happening in my environment. I see. So after pastor prayed for you, what else was done to you? Um, after pastor prayed for me on the Sunday, on the Monday, that is when we started coming for, coming for the direction. So you were, you were prayed for and yes. you were given directions. Yes, pastor. How long were you on the directions? It was to last for a week. A week. Yes, pastor. And when did you see the change happening to you? Um, it was on Monday. That is when uh, my elder called in the morning, and as he said, and he prayed for me, and he asked me to eat. From that moment, I was able to eat the food by myself. Afterwards, throughout the day, I was perfectly well. So after the prayer and the directions, and when your other called, yes. your life has come back to normal. Yes, Pastor. Now, your mother was supposed to be here. Yes. She couldn't make it. She sent us a video. Let's listen to the mother's edition of the story. And I'm not sure what I'm saying. I'm not 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 saying. I'm
Hallelujah. What how is your life now after the prayer and the directions? Actually, when I came to church on the 31st, I was very quiet and I was sitting as in front of the gate outside and I was watching what was going on in the service. It's like I've been to a new place that's all that they were doing. I'm now trying to relate to what they were doing. And I saw the guys that normally do the protocol cherry and something came into my mind. This is what you normally used to do when you come to service. And I was sitting there throughout the, the meeting and from that time to now, your life been is good. This has been good. Yes. Are you able to do your usual chores? Yes, Master. You will take care of yourself. Yes. You brush your own teeth. Yes, Master. <laughs> now, there's something interesting that happened. When he started recovering, it was as though a child who had been introduced to a new environment. And he started asking questions about everything. What is this? What is that? It's, it was as though he had never been to that environment before. Just like a child, when a child is learning. And that's why he, he, he said, when he came to church, it's as though he has been to a new place. And the mother says that even at home, when he started recovering, he started asking, who is this? What is this? Like he was learning everything over again. He was, his life had retrogressed into childhood, and God had restored it back to him. And this is what God has done for you. And I'm so excited that you are here fully whole and complete and I thank God that what the devil sought to do God has stepped in and reverted it. Jesus. What do you have to say to God? I'd like to show appreciation to, to God throughout this moment of my life that this unexpected incident happened to me and I thank God that he came through for me and I also thank the man of God, Pastor Obed that through him and all the pastors and my elder, through them, I've been able to recover fully Praise God. from this oppression. Hallelujah. What do you have to say to encourage somebody who may be having a certain condition that requires intervention? I would like to cast my mind back to when I came into this commission. That they used to say that there is nothing that is impossible for God to handle on this mountain. That is what has been on my mind ever since I entered this commission. And I know it is still in progress and it's still working. So, what I could say to boost your confidence for being here is that even as you have sat under the ministration of Pastor Obed, whether it's been the word of God or any other thing that is going on, just give ears to it and through that I know your deliverance will come quickly. Just right. ask me to have recovered quickly. Just as you recovered quickly, yes. God will do the same for anybody here. Yes. It's one of the many things God is doing on this mountain and you have been following real testimonies for some time now, you know that mental illnesses are continually being overpowered on this mountain. 
this commission is becoming a spot where no mental illness come here and go back the same this is the testimony we have here and over any condition you are sending this mountain with this is the mountain of all possibilities don't stop believing keep believing in God the God of this commission who transformed the life of this one is on your case right now be it a spiritual oppression or going through the God of this commission attends to you any issue you require divine intervention the God of Pastor Obed attends to you any incurable condition that has ascended this mountain is not living the same in the mighty name of Jesus will you lift up your hands and begin to bless the name of the Lord and celebrate him celebrate God for this wonderful work he's doing on this mountain begin to bless the name of the Lord Jesus